Hello, hello, my lovelies, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, I just want to let you know that I am back with doing the weekly readings. I needed that break to rejuvenate and just do a few things that I was doing to take care of myself and protect my energy. So um, in the description box below, I have taken the liberty to update it. I have made a few changes, nothing too drastic, but if you ever plan on booking a reading or even staying part of the channel, please read down below and just let you know, buyer beware, I will never reach out to you for a reading in the comments. Everything that I book comes solely to my phone and, you know, I always ask for all information. So please read that below and thank you for being here and welcome back. Hello, hello Aries and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today we are going to be doing some messages for the first week of March. Please universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please give me three more cards for Aries. There we go. Let's see what we have here for you. Sorry about that. We have here broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. We also have here handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. This may be somebody that you meet. You also have here wind chimes, peace and harmony. And we also have here cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. So you have here a broken bridge and a cracked cup. Let's see what we have here for you. Please universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors. Please give me, wow, too many, hold up. Please give me three messages for Aries for the first week. Oh, I still have one here that's turned over. So you know what, I'll take it. Okay. We're going to try this one more time. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please give me one more. Okay, obviously I can't take the whole thing. But this one insists it needs to be out. So I'm going to take it. <clears throat> I feel that some of you are wanting to bring in an offer. You know, this is someone young. Someone who is not quite mature enough, okay? This is for some of you. This could be you, okay? You know, just young, you know, not really sure, not really having stepped those two feet on the ground very um, solidly, okay? Um, for some of you, this is you wanting to give a message of love to somebody. Um, you have here the two of cups. In the, in, the, in the past, I feel that for some of you, you may have made a bond, a connection with someone. This is kind of what I pick up like a love story, you know? And I feel that some of you are trying with the knight to bring that up to par, is what I'm hearing. You have here the queen of coins, successful. Somebody who is um, very on her own. This is someone who is independent you know, takes the lead if she has to, okay? So, very independent, very successful, you know, can take care of themselves. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please give me one message for the Knight of Cups. Please, universal energies, Knight of Cups. Please, Universal Energies, Knight of Cups. There we go. Knight of Wands. Another message. Another message of passion. This is a message of love, a message of passion. This is what I feel some of you are wanting to send out. Because I feel that in the past with the Two of Cups, some of you are bonded to somebody. You know, you look at them like maybe they might be your soulmate. 
Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, why do we have two Knights here? Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, please bring forward. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are looking for your independence. You know, you're, you're wanting to show someone that you may be self-sufficient. You know, this is just somebody who takes care of themselves, who is working on their money, rising up. Okay, some of you are looking up. Some of you are ready to step up and forward from a place of where you were. <clears throat> Listen, some of you could be taking a relationship to the next level. Um, why is... There we go. Okay. Ten of Swords. So there's something that came to an end in the past between both of you. Let's see. There was something that came to an end. Nine of Cups. There was something that came to an end for you um, because you were looking for your happiness. Because some of you, like I said, you're looking for love. I just don't get this ending in the past. Why is it 10? Wow. You get the, the, the two of cups not once but twice. So that's another connection, another love. Or same thing. Basically the same thing. Um, you get the Knight of Cups wanting to make an offer and the King of Wands. Some of you are trying to take care of yourself. You're trying to show someone that you can be that person, okay? Passionate, caring, very creative, okay? Stands up for themselves. You, you're here, again, trying to send the message. You, get, you have here in this reading the Knight of Cups, not once but twice. Why is it here? Why do you have two knights? Five of swords. Listen, I'm going to tell you, for some of you, this may be a defeat. For some of you, this may be, excuse me, I'm trying to find my comfort. Um, for some of you, this may be a, a fight, an argument, okay, between two people. I don't know. I kind of feel that this, this reading was good until it started going down. You know, and it did start off in the half wrong side because some of you have cracked cup and dissatisfaction, something that is broken here, you know, something that has been unsuccessful. Some of you are looking to meet someone new, you know, you're looking to, you know, make yourself, you know, shine with, with peace and harmony, you know, with these wind chimes. I don't know. Some of you, I just, I just kind of feel that if somebody had you in a in a situation where they're trying to give you some messages after they put you in some bullshit ass fuckery you know I, I just feel that some of you are looking for something more some of you are looking for marriage you know some of you are looking I feel like I'm talking to two different people there is no way that all this beautiful can be this bad at the end you know with the five of swords and just a lot of immature energy. Why is the queen of, and I'm still going to release the video because that's what we do here. Um, so you get the nine of swords. Nine of swords, this is a lot of anxiety. Some of you may be going through some anxiety with somebody that just may be trying to take care of, the, of themselves. Um... I don't know. I kind of feel that some of you are kind of worried, kind of not being able to sleep. Maybe perhaps because you want to propose to this person or sing them a song. And I'm here. And listen, this is a harmony card as well as one of your oracles. It's a harmony card. So some I feel like I'm talking to two different people. You know, this can't be a personal reading for you know, because there's a lot of independence here. However, there is a lot of young energy, you know, and then there's there's a connection, a bond, something that is together. You know, some of you are going to rise from this, you know, and like I said, there's somebody here who's successful, makes their own money, you know, 
And some of you, you know, something something in, in your in your life in the past came to an end because there was something that you wanted to start brand new with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is, is the ending so that something brand new can begin. And some of you are starting out by maybe saying or talking to somebody special messages that are going to be sent. And this is going to have to do with some connection that some of you have with someone. You know, and I feel that some of you are going to try to show this person that you could be that person. The universal energies. One more card. One more. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Um, some of you are going, are, are going to stay looking from afar for a while. Okay, I feel that for some of you, you feel that you have done the work. <clears throat> And, you know, you're just going to sit back and kind of wait for the re rewards of life. You know, you're going to kind of look from afar is what I'm hearing, you know. So for some of you, whoever is anxious, listen, relax, take a deep breath. OK, reevaluate any situations that you have to you know, reevaluate and, you know, take it as it comes, you know, take it as it comes. I hope that this was able to help you. Thank you so much for being here and take care.